blood donation saves lives. But what exactly happens after the blood has been collected? When someone donates, they provide a whole blood donation as well as a few test tube samples. Whole blood donations are placed in temperature-controlled coolers and delivered to Carter Blood Care's processing center. Upon arrival, each donation is scanned into the blood information management system by the Component Production Laboratory for tracking purposes. The blood is then loaded into a centrifuge and spun at high speed. This separates it into three different components, red cells, plasma, and platelets. Each component is stored in specialized equipment that maintains a specific temperature range. Red cells are stored in refrigerators at 1 to 6 degrees Celsius for up to 42 days. Plasma can be stored frozen for one year. Platelets are stored at room temperature for seven days while being continuously shaken. Meanwhile, the test samples are analyzed to determine the donor's blood type and see if there are any infectious agents in the donation. Once test results are confirmed, the blood components are labeled and ready for transport to hospitals and medical facilities. The hospital services team receives blood component orders from hospitals. When blood is needed, this team sends the right type to the right location. Blood and blood components are then stored at hospitals to ensure that they are available when patients need transfusions. Blood transfusions are needed in instances like serious injury, childbirth emergencies, invasive surgical procedures, organ transplants, and cancer treatments. Red cells are used to treat anemia or blood loss. Platelets are commonly needed by patients who are undergoing chemotherapy, heart surgeries, and have sustained head injuries. Plasma helps patients with cases of liver failure, severe infection, or serious burns. It's because of generous donors that local patients can receive the life-saving blood transfusions they need.